Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel.
the UFC lightweight division belt. Is it good to see this guy making the walk? I'm just glad I don't have to fend off his chokes tonight. This is a decorated Brazilian jiu-jitsu practitioner. And a lot of guys in the UFC just not used to facing opponents on this level. He's probably thinking right now, how quickly can I get this fight to the ground and utilize my high-level submission skills? Scary, scary BJJ practitioner. Finally where he belongs here in the octagon. What he wants to do here is close the distance, bring this fight to the ground where he should have an advantage, utilize his ground and pound and his submission skills. So, Joe, as this fighter makes his way to the octagon, let's start with the kicking technique because it is just outstanding. He doesn't telegraph a thing, and I think what really jumps out of the film room for me is his ability to get his foot off the canvas to the target so quickly. A lot of guys just don't even see it coming, and he doesn't discriminate. He'll attack that lead leg. He'll go to the body. Beautiful head kick upstairs as well. The technique is really what sets up everything to this guy's game, and his opponent certainly weary of what's coming back with those kicks tonight. And now our tale of the tape for this lightweight fight. Nurmagomedov is four years his senior. The reach is identical. To get us started with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a grappler holding a professional record of five wins, no losses. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Amima the Eagle And now, his opponent fighting out of the red corner. A kickboxer holding a professional record of six wins, three losses. He stands six feet one is tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of London, England, the Destroyer. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliata, your referee. You ready? You ready? Dateline Houston, Texas, always going to be back in the H-Town as we get underway here from Toyota Center. All right, ready to go for round one, and it's hard not to harken back to his last appearance. A huge knockout victory for him that set up this particular showcase here tonight. Can he keep the momentum going, work his way towards that top ten, for another knockout. His fan base is swelling. He is more popular than ever after a big knockout win his last time out. Moves to half guard. All right, so first round is underway. You know when it comes to his strategy, a lot of it is rooted in his kicking game, has massive power, whether he's attacking the head, the legs, or the body. So let's see how early he can find his range with those kicks here tonight. Good shot to the head. Perfectly timed sweep. Closing the distance here. Going for the single leg now. Oh, working the inside of that leg. He's got the single leg takedown. Back up to his feet again. And he connects there, Joe. Oh, left hook to the head, it's blocked. Just 
just over two minutes, round one. Oh, excellent exchange there. He is really finding his range with that uppercut. Yeah, I'd agree with you, Joe. As soon as he went to the uppercut early in this fight, he has found a location for it. Nice hammer fist. He's working from side control. Nice punch. He's doing a great job of utilizing the ground and pound here. Really getting off some excellent shots. And Dizzy as he looks to improve position here. He's moved back into side control once more. Nice shot to the head. Oh, effective strike there by Nermago Meta. He's going to try to take the back, I think. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. He's now working from side control again. Now he's in half guard. Able to land with the left hand. Very nice ground and pound. He's staying busy. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. Hey, have a seat, have a seat. Hey, you took a shot. That was a shot. You okay? Listen, I need to... Let's see some of the action here. And here's another clean shot that lands. And another perfectly placed strike. Very exciting round. Brittany Palmer doing her thing as usual. Couldn't have liked that too much, Joe. Inside leg kick wins. Tags him. Really swung everything into that kick, but fell short. Back to the single. Nice punch there by Nermago Meta. Excellent ground and pound here, not giving his opponent any breaks. He's looking to take the back. Oh, he is throwing right that in. right with fight ending intentions. Trying to pass here. Excellent movement and transitions here on the ground. Staying busy. Into the full guard. Back to half guard. Now looking to posture up, and he lands a big head strike. Nicely done there by Nermago Meta. Still working this ground and pound. Good punches. Good punch. Under three minutes now to go round two. Now he's in full guard. Trying for a submission here, Joe, or so it appears. He's in full guard here, looking for the guillotine choke. What he needs to do is, he needs to wrap his arm around the back of his opponent's head, slide his forearm underneath the chin, then he needs to clasp his hands together, and then rotate his arms so that the neck is stuck deep in the crook of his elbow, lock up full guard, extend, and squeeze for the tap. Wow. He's in half guard. And he reverses position. Oh, man, look at him now. 90 seconds remain in the round. Moves to north-south. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here for Bob. Excellent movement on the ground here, always trying to better his position. Less than a minute to go in the round. He's attacking from north-south again. Excellent movement here on the ground. Back to the stand-up now. Both fighters upright. Take down attempt late, and it's good. Nirma 
Magomedov gets up, he is back on the feet. Looked like he was in a submissive state on the ground, but he worked hard there to get back to the feet. Nice. Ten minutes in the books. Book. And here we see some beautiful submission offense here. Let's take a look at that again. And here we see excellent timing with this trip. Ariane Celeste is with us. Another strike to the body here, really starting to connect on a lot of strikes to the midsection here in the latter stages of this fight. There's a single attempt. Oh, he gets the takedown. That could be big. Excellent movement on the ground here. Constantly moving, constantly staying busy. Look at the bruising on his torso. And busy as he looks to improve position here. Side control again. And got full mount. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. He passes to half guard. Oh, mount. And he connects there. He's working from half guard now. Now he gets the full mount again. Big punch. Just over three minutes to go in round three. And he winds up on top. Under three minutes with which to work in our third and final round. And he landed the right hand there. Nice. Excellent movement and transitions here on the ground. Staying busy. Caught him with a punch. Now he's in full guard. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. And he doesn't get it. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it. Lighten up his opponent left and right. Good scramble. All right, so there's that first kick to the body, Joe, as advertised. Plenty of stick on it. Likely the first of many to come tonight. In the side control. Found the target with that left hand. And it's so swollen and so damaged. He's looking to pass. And he's gonna try to take the back. Oh, he got cracked. Into side control again. Excellent movement on the ground here. Always trying to better his position. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. He's moved back into side control. 30 seconds now to go in the fight. 20 seconds to go in the fight. Good shot. Excellent movement here on the ground. He gets in a full guard here. They go the 15 minute distance. What a fight. All right, so once again, we are glad we are commentators and not judges. This fight goes the distance, and it was a very close fight, Joe. Both guys had their moments. Truly a decision now that could go either way as we await it from Bruce Buffer. All right, it looks like the official decision is in. Yes, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. Judge one scores this contest, 30-27, Nurmaga Medov. Judge two scores it, 9-28, the destroyer. And judge three scores it, 9-28, for the winner by split decision, 
the destroyer. All right, so there he is, your winner by decision here tonight. Both fighters had their moments, but in the end, he gets the judge's nod, and this is big for him as he tries to spin this career forward. Going to be very interesting to see what the matchmakers do with him after this win tonight. I lay before a brick layer. I do. Took a trip. Now we take a sprint. I wasn't made the job. I'm on ships. Roll it cause a grip. I'm what's major now. Stop boy. I got hot rods. It could get gangster now. Bang. Blow your brains out. See what you thinking about. By associates. I've been scarred. Fought and lost with the wall. Drop me off around the corner. Just let it run. Lead a car. Get up the road and turn. This is what I thought from Bolger City. Took in the grocery and you ain't fought. They love the way I talk. My swag, I'm not regular. The fans going mad and my band's on a pedestal. Women in the stands, they don't let me get the best of you. Front stage, Michael Jackson band. I'm professional. Solo out in public, but I ain't up for no questioning. Play, I might apply a little pressure, but ain't no wrestling. Sexually aggressive when my bitches be Thank you for watching, please wait for more videos, see you soon!